Welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Pillars of Eternity. We're going to get ourselves... I got I got us back to roughly where we were at at the end of the last episode. Uh, game kind of glitched out on us. Let's check out what this thing is. <coughs> A cracked stone face rises from the pool. Uh, lichens clog. Our lichens clog the hollow underneath the uh, brows and nostrils of a pale glow along the undersides of its cheeks. Uh, pool is murky and difficult to tell how deep it goes. You barely can see the statue submerged to the shoulders. The rest is shrouded in darkness, yet a smudge of light uh, shines from the blue. I guess let's dive towards the light. I have to choose a loth, I guess. It's not ideal. <laughs> yeah, failure. Well, leaps in the pool, swims down the water, surprisingly warm with an oily texture and a brickish flavor. Yet as the loft paddles deeper, the water grows colder, the light depths become brighter and sharper, and a strange metal melody murmurs through the water. As a mysterious source glows closer, muck clogs the lost eyes, a strong current pushes back. <clears throat> the effort of swimming starts to take its toll, a loft emptying his lungs begin to burn. Let's take him back to the surface. Falls out of the pool, heavy pains, staying under for so long. A lot got injured. Excellent. So I think it's because the loft was the all? only one over there. So let's <clears throat> let's have Edder do it. Dive towards the light. Yeah, that's why. Party member. All right, brackish flavor. Grows colder. Success. Despite the effort, Edward fights with the current, sustained by the deep breath and strong lungs. Edward reaches a source of light uh, and music, a glowing conch in the statue's open hand. Music flows from it. As a rich, deep baritone. <clears throat> Edder hovers above it, just lungs just beginning to ache. At first, the conch is stuck in place with a little effort. Edder pries it from the statue's palm. It comes free with a pop. The radiance of music fade. Edder pushes off from the statue despite pain swelling in his chest. Edder kicks toward the dim glow of the surface. Oh, this is the conch thing we're getting. Or corner to the depths. Excellent. So we got that. Edder emerges, climbs out of the pool, and chilling deep breaths of deck cave air. You hear rattling. Bones by the pool grind and snap together. Several skeletons rise from the mud. Alright, we got a little bit of a fight on our hands, but that should be alright. <clears throat> Yeah, the skeletons are pretty soft, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Where's he going? Oh, a loft got knocked down. I didn't even see that. Me too. Let's start AOE heal. Oh, that was a beach. Don't underestimate me. More. Probably need to rest after this, would be my assumption. Let's go help out uh, Edder. Second I get a resurrection spell, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get that. Alright, perfect. Uh-huh. 
that all? I'm here for you. All right. <laughs> Definitely got some good stuff there. Alright, and these batteries aren't powered up anymore, so we should be able to, I think, go through here okay. Granted, I don't think there's really much to do over there. So where to next becomes the question. So there's an area over here we haven't explored yet. Where's that go? Old city ruins. This there's a staircase over here too. I guess let's try these old city ruins. <clears throat> Burrowed into the cliff, cliffside, a dark cavern descend, descends deeply underground. I don't know if we have any need to be here yet. Find out soon enough. Speaking of which, let's probably save real quick just to be safe. Some good times. <laughs> I need some help here. Mother and God. Is that you? Another uh, attack. Oh, I've lost Anna. too much water. Yeah, I don't think we need to be here. Can't make a dent. There's a wall up here. Don't underestimate me. Let's see if we survive this, but. In the figurehead, futile. See you, me too, man. I think we are going to survive. We are getting damage on this guy. See you, me too, man. Hey, that wasn't that bad. There we go. Yes? Absolute. We'll take what we got and let's get out of here. Of course. I don't think we need to be here yet. Climb back to the passage. They did say we only had like half a day to explore down here. So let's just get out of here. Let's get back to this surface because I don't think let's double check the journal but I don't think there's anything else that would uh need us to be down here I don't need it or maybe the undercroft's down here but I yeah we gotta do if we do Dario's deal he'll get us down there there's probably an easier way to get down there um so 
make sure real quick. I don't think. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, I think we're all right. Oops. Let's head on back. Before we get too beat up. Talk to the overseer. The gullet is no place to wander. Watch yourself for rowdies and pirates. I'll leave that alone. Let's head. Uh, the tavern has beds, doesn't it? Let's try to rest at the hole. I think that would be most advantageous you might find for this us. Interesting. Oh, a lot found some. Try to remember that. And then we need to tell... <clears throat> Ain't exactly an hole in the wall, is it? Oh, no. Need something? Well, account of it being an hole. Oh, you can't rest here. Need something? What you need? Oh, here we go. Rent a room. Just the thing for your fresh face. Just the thing. Do you prefer spider free or spider full? Uh, we'll spend the hundred bucks. Get the bonuses. I think that's worth it. All right, everybody's all fresh and up. Gods want more for us than piracy, I say. Aye. Hey, more 600 bucks, nice. Man, more than fishing, more than shaping the water, even. Free booting be the means, lad, not the ends. not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? I found Barato in the old city. Unfortunately, he's dead. Of course. I only hoped. It is no matter. Thank you for telling me. I found the money that Barato hid, if you'd like it. That much copper would only bring suspicion. Besides, maybe Suduzu will accept it in exchange for passage. I already spoke with Suduzu. He about the passage out of Nekatak. What say? Then. She's agreed to take you all. She mo she's momentarily speeches speechless. Her eyes fill with tears. She, she drops the reeds and the brushes away. Oh, no hug for Takehu, then? May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. And there we go. We got them out of their out of their tough situation. We're the good guys. Looks like they didn't leave anything behind either. So now we should be able to bring the cornet to, uh, what's his name, Dario? If we head off, yeah, this way to the Narrows.
Go to Dario's hideout. Hideout. Hey, bud, I got something for you. What do you require? Is this the artifact you're looking for? He examines the cons, tracing his delicate fingers over the Andrite symbols. Pleasure shines in his eyes. Interesting. This is not Takano's shell, but it is one of Andra's artifacts all the same. And now the real work begins. You must take this to the Undercroft. Funny how they never mention the real work up front. Yeah, that seems pretty consistent. Hi, Miko. It is but a jaunt. Is it now? It lies just below Delva's Row. It is where goods of questionable provenance originate. Take the lift from Delva's Row, not the lift in the gullet, mind you. Huh? My associate Gwenfen will await you outside a passage in the old Juana style. Okay. Yeah, I brought you the conch. You can't just go change the terms of our deal now. I did not realize the prospect of forgotten treasures and abandoned ruins so unnerved you. Among the ruins is a certain mosaic. All right. You got my interest. The shell you found will reveal it to you. Gwenfen can explain all when you find her. It is said the old city was once as grand as Serpent's Crown. Whatever treasure you find there is yours to keep. Okay. For now, take this. Consider it an advance. Only 300 bucks? Oh, Delver's Row is the other place in the back. Okay, okay. How do I reach the Undercroft? There is a lift in Delver's Row, next to a Netzo shop. I will see that the people who guard it do not give you trouble. All right, perfect. Once you descend, cross the bridge. Behind the stockade is a door to, well, a very old place. You will know it when you see it. Gwenfin will await you and the coordinate there. Do whatever she asks as though the request comes from me. All righty. So now we need to head back out this way. I think we're only like one level lower than we should be for this quest, so we should be okay. Let's double check that before we get ourselves in trouble. Yeah, I mean, what else could we really do that doesn't... We could, we could do this. We could establish a food source for the gullet first. I think all we got to do is talk to the royalty. Let's actually do that first. Let's see if we get to uh, if we get another level beforehand, and then we're properly prepared for this quest. I have a feeling we're going to spend a good chunk of this game in Nekataka. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, not up the floor. We want this entrance. Actually, I think we might have wanted the upper floor. Oh well. Because she's not in the throne room right now, right? She was like all the way on the top balcony. That would appear so. Can I talk to you about that? We should talk about the food shortage in the gullet. Shortage? 
Are the Raparu not fed the leavings of the Quaru and Mataru? But go it's in a poor state, there's little enough to go around. It is no wonder how Delver's Row won the love of my people, I say, by feeding them when we could not. Find us solutions instead of old problems, I say. <clears throat> Rapara was the queen, won't she step in? Or should we... Uh, let's go streetwise. It'd be a shame if the trading companies recognized this failure of leadership. Ikira, if one framed it that way. I will dredge up the resources to feed the Raparu if the meat must come from my own body. The work of keeping pace with our rivals. There is no end, I say. There we go. If you have more to say, I am not above listening. All right, so we need to inform Inori about the deal. I believe Inori was the older fella. Queen will double her efforts to feed your growing population. Well, the old man's eyes glisten. Not in this lifetime could I have hoped for more. To have garnered our queen's generosity. I ache to believe it. Never can I thank you enough, watcher who has the ear of both kith and gods. Always the Raparu will know of your kindness. Well, excellent. Thank you very much. Should you need refuge within Negadaka, know that the Raparu will stand by your side. Take care, old man. May Amira's wind ever fill your sails, girl. We will not forget what you have done for us. Right, we didn't get any levels off that. We do have the option. We can also uh, work on finding the medicine in Delver's Row for the sick. Let's go ahead and do that. What was that quest called? Uh, harsh medicine? Yeah, find Drowner's Lung Medicine. That may end up sending us on uh, another tangent, but that's all right. That's how RPGs work. I assume there is like an alchemist like right here. I'm assuming this is probably who I need to talk to. It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Or perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a stronger bite. I'm looking for medicine to cure Drowner's lung. Then you'd best ask elsewhere. But careful. If the Mataru Overseer hears there's a sickness, might be he has more questions for you. Okay. The Alchemist is not helpful. Looking for something to sharpen the senses to help you leave your sorrows behind. Yeah, that's not the guy. Our pal over here. 
There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. I need medicine for Drowner's Lung. Eh? I hope you are not ill. But never mind. If the Mataru come asking, I will not tell. But Drowner's Lung is very serious. Very deadly. The cure is not cheap. But how can one put a price on good health? If the price seems high, there is a certain little favor you could do for me instead. Um, I'm not super rich right now. Tell me about this little favor. There is a certain merchant here who needs to not be here. Go on. This merchant runs a shop at the end of the street. People know it as the Spindle Man. If you get rid of it, then I will give you the medicine. Hold on, okay. not so fast. Do they call him that because he carries a spindle, or because he's got spindly legs? What do you know about Spindle Man? Merla, it is a dangerous pest. When it dug its lair, it did not even ask permission of their... Uh, <clears throat> of the boss. And usually you want to pay the proper respects if you're digging a lair. He keeps saying our... It. This merchant isn't Kith, is it? It is a Vithrak. Okay. That all? They say it is a mind reader. We in Delves Row are simple folk. Quiet folk. It does not do to have a mind reader nosing among us. You understand me, yes? Okay. Fair enough. Come on. Let's get a drink of firmness. Right. It's early. We'll go when it's dark. Fine. I don't know how you tell that. Yeah? Is this where the, the Thrak merchant is? Something approaches. I believe it is. This looks like a difficult situation. What is this kith creature? Look, but don't touch, I say. What secrets does it bring? Let us see. Keep your weather eye open, Cap. A fork probe ain't much to worry over, but I'll be a two-headed ogre if that's the only trick up them silk sleeves. The Thrak turns its attention to Teku, and, uh, who abruptly winces. No prize secrets in this one. Not like the others with the water sense. Their minds carry secrets of a damp cave. A hateful glare beneath a stagnant pool. A dead woman's regret. Uh, this mean anything to you, Teku? Gibberish. The floating spider had best explain itself. Kith hoard many secrets. The best ones they bury deep in their cities, behind mighty walls. Okay. But what secrets fill your mind? Um. Uh, what secrets do you want? Any. All. You extend your hands to the desperate and destitute, and you do not flinch from their filth. Will you deny us? Yes, you came to Deadfire seeking knowledge, too. Let's talk instead. Why don't you ask me what you want to know? The language of tongues is a dull, tedious thing. Why ask when you can see for yourself? A watcher, the Deerwood, the storm-wracked coast of Rawatai. Um... A death, a life, a wide sea, stirred by storms and pirates and... Ah, a wonderful secret. I don't trust this creature at all. Um, let's just get out of here. I think this is the person 
Um, there is an assassin over here. Maybe I can just have the assassin take care of him and be done with it. Is he? Yeah, it's back this way. There he is. I'd like you to handle a problem for me. Uh, let's ask him about drowning. Looking for a cure for drowner's luck. Keep your rotten ass away from me, Langer. You want to talk to a Valian that goes by her neck, so. He runs okay. a shop down the street, here in the row. Don't tell him I sent you. And don't say I never did you any favors. I'd like you to handle a problem for me. Of course you do. Can you handle the spindle man? That thing's web of lies and mind filching finally got the wrong scab pissed. Poetic, eh? I can do it, but it'll cost you. This spindle man's well guarded, even by my standards. I can handle the ogres and kith, but I'll need funds to cover my, uh, bases. I trust you'll be discreet. Rest assured. The spindle man will trouble you no more. Or anyone else for that matter. I'll be back when the fun bit is over. Alright. So. Does that count as taken care of? Uh, I hired Russ to kill spindle man. Do I have to wait now, or...? There is something I can get for you, yes? There Tell me quietly. Uh, Spindle Man is gone. Belfetto. I heard certain rumors. Of course, I did not want to ask too many questions. Now, about our deal. Your medicine, as promised. Hey, how did you do that? Can you do that again? To think the fate of Aeora rests in our collective hands. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. Nope. Um, this episode's gonna run a little long, but let's go ahead and finish this quest, and then we will call it. Let's get this medicine back to the people who need it. And we'll go to Gullet. And we need to head down here to the sanctuary. That Dawn Star may be able to help. What say? Help how? Poison me? Need something. Here's your medicine. Her eyes, watering red, dart between you and the file you hold. She coughs into her fist. That could save an awful lot of sick people. Well, here you go. That's the watcher we all heard such good things about. All right, she takes the bottle from you, uncorks it sharply. A piney odor escapes. She breathes it in and smiles. That's the stuff, all right. Thank you. That's from me and from the children of the Dawn Stars. How about some warmth? That's pretty good. Uh, only 50 bucks, but we did get some <clears throat> XP. If you'll excuse me, I better start treating the sickest ones. Fair enough. Alrighty, so now we got that done. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do next, next time. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have a good one.